As we go through our lives searching for the right partner to spend the rest of our lives with, we still have to go through many messages, a handful of dates, a few encounters, and a couple of serious relationships before you find the one you are destined to be with. But sometimes, one of those familiar connections from a previous flame can suddenly be sparked again. And if you decline, it can turn a love offer to a fatal fire. Here are their stories. Jacob Klein, a 40-year-old Franklin County, Virginia resident, grew up in Cobleskill and attended the Albany Academy as well as Clarkson University before becoming a physician assistant working in California, New York, and later Virginia. 29-year-old Elena Radin and 35-year-old Philip Rabatti both worked at St. Peter's Hospital located in Albany, New York. And according to the hospital website, they both worked as physician's assistants, just like Jacob. Philip started working at the hospital in 2019 and had been in Albany his entire life. He went to Gilderland High School, where he was a top athlete, popular student amongst peers and staff. He continued his success as he graduated with honors from the University of Albany and later Albany Medical College. Elena Radin was from the Syracuse area she also attended the SUNY College of Medicine in Brooklyn, eventually graduating in 2016, just a year after Jacob had graduated from that same exact school. Jacob and Elena dated a while back for several years. It is currently unknown whether or not they met while attending medical school or whether they met while practicing in their careers, but there is no doubt that Elena had moved on while Jacob held to every last bit of her. April 13th. Jacob, a military veteran with zero criminal record, drove his personal vehicle across multiple states to Albany, New York, three days prior to the attack. When he arrived in the area, he proceeded to rent a car from Enterprise and used it the next few days to stalk Elena and Philip at both their residence and at the hospital where they worked. Elena had no clue that she was being stalked and Philip hadn't met Jacob, nor did he know of him. After the traveling and three days later of stalking, Jacob took the rented car and waited for Elena to leave home to go to work early that Wednesday morning before threatening, intimidating Philip, forcing his way into their home in a wrath of attacks. Philip was bound while taking stabs to the chest. Mutilation also occurred. Meanwhile, Elena was at work waiting for her husband to show up for his shift at noon. She tried multiple times to reach him to no avail. Philip, unfortunately, had already passed at this time. Elena called the police. Responding to the welfare check, a deputy arrived at the home at the same time as Elena and Philip's father. In fact, the two loved ones were right behind the deputy, despite the police telling them to stand back. As they searched the home, they found the home in a disarray. Faucets in both bathrooms were still running with water overflowing onto the floors. One of the faucets had blood in it. And then Philip's father went into the garage by himself, which makes him the first person to encounter Philip's body lifeless in the garage. Philip's dad began screaming. He was left for dead, bound, and had injuries sustained that can only be described as wounds from a knife both to his upper body and head area. After the attack, Jacob drove away from the scene and returned the rental car back to Enterprise that same day, just around 10 a.m. License plate readers across Route 86 also confirmed that he was traveling towards the general direction of Philip and Elena's home that same day. Not too long afterwards, another license reader captured that same truck using a different route as he drove back from their house to Albany. With evidence piling against Jacob, authorities decided to keep watch of his every move. The next day on Friday, detectives continued their undercover surveillance by tracking his mobile phone. He traveled from Memphis, Tennessee, then back to his residence in Virginia. 
using that same cell phone data the authorities retrieved was when they realized that Jacob was actually moving to and from all the locations that the couple frequented. In one instance, Jacob actually took an Uber and the authorities were able to retrieve video from that particular ride. As the authorities began receiving more tips and evidence, the biggest evidence of them all are the doorbell video provided by neighbors the morning of the attack. In the video, you'll see Elena leave for work and shortly thereafter, you can see Jacob walk right towards the couple's front door at around 7.30 a.m. In the video, you can see Philip answering the door. His reaction was telling. It's as if Jacob drew a weapon on him, forcing him into his own home. A neighbor of Philip and Elena told authorities in a recorded statement that he was walking her dog on their cul-de-sac of New Scotland Road after 7 a.m. that morning when she saw a man wearing a surgical mask and a head covering who was clutching papers that were folded in his hands as he walked up the driveway to the couple's front door. She said that the man she had seen was driving a white pickup truck and stood around 5 foot 8 inches tall, which matches Klein's height. The neighbor went further to say, I thought he was a little odd because he was there early, but wasn't dressed like a contractor and was wearing sort of casual clothing. Another nearby neighbor also told authorities in a written statement that they heard yelling from the inside of the couple's home that same morning, but did not think it was anything to call authorities for. The detectives continued their search for answers to solidify the case against Jacob. They combed the New Scotland neighborhood where the killing had occurred for several days, looking for clues. Some of the efforts included police and scuba gear scouring the nearby ponds. The authorities visited businesses along New Scotland Avenue, searching every security video camera footage that may be used as evidence in this case. As they searched, they also found that Jacob purposely rented an Airbnb on a street that was within walking distance of St. Peter's Hospital, which is where the couple worked. The police were afraid that Jacob planned on fleeing. And since they finally felt that they had enough evidence to arrest Jacob Klein, they moved forward with it and he was arrested the night of April 15th as he was driving across the Virginia border from Tennessee. The police initially suspected he was going to flee because he randomly left his residence in the middle of the night and drove across the border. But later, the police found that he crossed the border only to give up his dog to an acquaintance, assuming because he knew that the police were closing in on him. Right on that border was where the arrest occurred. Authorities have not figured out the actual motive but believe that Jacob targeted Philip simply because of still wanting Elena. Philip and Elena had recently married a few months prior to September. This is why the authorities, Elena, and other people think that this was the motive because right before their wedding, Elena received a very concerning email from Jacob, which is what led the police initially to the path of pursuing Jacob as their number one suspect. In the email, Jacob explained to Elena that he moved back to the East Coast from Southern California. He boasted about his money and how he had garnered that money by trading in stocks. He went on to say that he was interested in rekindling their relationship. Because of this email, Elena put the police in the right track to find her husband's killer. Jacob was booked into the Avingdon, Virginia jail before being extradited back to the Empire State. He is currently facing a second-degree murder charge with a minimum sentence of 15 years to life. Jacob entered a not guilty plea while he was arraigned in town court on April 21, 2022. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment below what you thought about this video, and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to get notified for whenever we upload a new video, click on that bell notification button, and you will get a notification anytime we have a new video premiering. We also have Rank Paranormal that is coming out, and we will be including that in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Bye.